Hi, I'm Pepe Cano. Oaxaca tamales are different from the traditional corn husk tamales, not only because of the banana leaf that they're wrapped in, but also because the dough or the masa is not as fluffy, but in a way it's lighter and it contains no baking powder. I got this recipe from a second generation family of tamal street vendors. Their recipe is very simple but authentic. And this is what we do. So we're going to need 16 banana leaf squares and I'll show you how to cut them. Two pounds of tortilla dough or masa, a little over a half cup of fresh lard, one cup more or less of chicken stock, and our stuffings, a quarter cup of uh, chile verde, a quarter cup of mole sauce, a cup of shredded cooked chicken and a cup of pork belly. I extend my leaves in a long table and start cutting squares approximately 10 to 12 inches. Then I cut the rib and the thick part and I always make sure to save the little pieces for patching. I heat up my electric griddle to the high setting and here I'm going to sweat the leaves to make them pliable. I do about three at a time. In about under a minute they'll be done. Now I'm going to prepare my masa in my mixer with the paddle on I add a tablespoon of salt maybe a little more, make it salty, and here I add my fresh lard, a little over a cup, and incorporate the ingredients at low speed. After scraping the bowl, I'm going to run at high speed for about a minute. Here I add part of the cup of the chicken stock and mix it in and see what it looks like before using the rest. Again, after it's mixed, I run it at a higher speed and I decide it is of a good texture and doesn't need the rest of the chicken stock. Now I prepare my stuffings. First I brown my pork belly a little bit and then add salsa to it. Again I fry my chicken a little bit and then I add my mole sauce.
Now we're ready to build the tamales. For this, you want to spread the masa all over the leaf. This is what makes homemade tamales uh, special. All this little masa will absorb the flavor of the banana leaf. Build up the middle a little bit, make it fatter. Now I place my stuffing in the middle and it's time to fold. So fold in, fold back, squeeze on the sides to the middle, towards the middle, and then fold the ends. and it's ready to go in the steamer basket. If you have leaves with rips or holes, you can place a patch and proceed in the same way. Repeat till the last one and now they're all ready to go into the steam. Now the basket's ready to go in the steamer. You want to cover it up and tie a piece of the leaf to the handle to prevent the tamales from hearing the gossip in the kitchen and remain uncooked. That is according to the old wives' tale. So at the end of 50 minutes, your tamales are ready. Take them out carefully and they're ready to eat. The best part of the tamal is scraping these little bits that are truly delicious. And there you have it. Bon appetit. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Ciao.